Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Faraz and in today's video, we will see which is the right place to download your Microsoft Office for Mac. Is it from the Apple stores or you should go and download from the Microsoft website? This is a very common question been asked to me several times why there are two different download places and what is the difference between that? So we're going to see all that in today's video. So if you come to Apple stores and if you type Microsoft Office, and you will come across these options and this is Microsoft 365. Now, if you haven't purchased it, then you can just simply purchase it from here also. And there's an option that you can just simply download these apps. Now I have already downloaded it. So that's why it's showing me on the cloud right now. But if I hit on download, then it will download again. Now let us go and talk about the difference. Now, if you have purchased a copy of Microsoft 365 or any office, you would get a download link from Microsoft. Now, if you access office.com, then you need to go to install office. And if you just simply hit install office, automatically the downloader will start and it will start downloading the file. Now, I have already downloaded that file for you. So I'm just going to stop this download and clear it from here. Now, the thing comes that why you should download from Microsoft, not from Apple stores. Let me tell you that if you are downloading it from Apple stores, remember that this is a production copy, you know, that there are no bugs and it is a very stable copy of an application. But if you download from Microsoft, even you get that production copy as well, but you have an option to enroll yourself to Microsoft Insider program. Now, Microsoft Insider programs allows you to get an early access to their new features and functions, whatever they are releasing it. So you can get hands on first and you can explore them. So that is a benefit. You get it when you download from Microsoft Office. So let me quickly go and set up my Microsoft Office. So here is my installer and you just follow these guidelines and you just say continue and just say I agree. And this is a copy which I have downloaded from the Microsoft Office.com which I have showed it to you right now. Install and it will ask you for the authorization. So it's going to quickly install the files. And yeah, we are done. So the installation was successfully completed. Let's close and we can move the file to the trash, which is over here. And let's go and see some apps. Perfect. So we have got Outlook, OneNote, OneDrive and Word and Excel as well. So now whenever you are downloading from the office, you get this Microsoft auto update, which checks it and update the latest copy of any applications, which is available. And when you are downloading it from the Apple stores, Apple stores take care of that. And you will not find any difference in that updating it from Apple stores or from the Microsoft auto update. Now let's go and talk about how to register it for the insider program. So let me open my Excel and let's say, you start using Excel and yes, let's open a blank workbook. So let's go to the help and check for updates. And when you come over here, you get this advanced option and you have these three different channels. Now current channel is the one which is a production copy, which is the stable one, you know, and the current channel preview, uh, this is a copy where you get to see the things before it has been pushed to the production, the final copy. And this is a beta channel, which I was talking about that you get the access to the earliest build, whatever they release it. So Microsoft, it can give you the access. And if you're very lucky enough, you can get the new functions and you can just test it out them. And you can just say, okay. And I always wanted to have them because I always like to test the latest things what has been given by Microsoft. So let's close it and you can just see that when I click this, it has automatically started downloading the beta copy of the Office app. So you can get your hands on with the latest and the greatest developments going inside Microsoft Office applications. I hope my friends, you found this video informative and helpful. Uh, just make sure that you post it into the comment and let me know your thoughts that what are you going to do? So are you going to switch it to the beta or you're still going to stay on the production copy. Let me know in the comment section. Till then, see you soon with some more amazing Mac Excel videos. See you soon. Bye.